Do we care, um, Adele, cultural appropriation? Is that <laughs> no, in, the, in the bikini care. and the feathers? We don't care at all, bruv. No? <laughs> Hell upon the other side, yeah? <laughs> Hell upon the gully side. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, mate. It, is it, can we not have this conversation none of us Jamaican? Can so? We, no, but like, that was, she's wearing a fucking Jamaican bikini bra, bruv. <laughs> It's available in the shops. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to buy it. <laughs> but this is the thing though, man. Like, I don't know in it if it's my place to say or not, but I just feel like everyone is up in arms. Like she could have been wearing a flipping, uh, a Congolese bra or um, an Angolan bra. Yeah. So what, bruv? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the fuck is a doll doing, bro? Like she did like. What well, she has, she had a Jamaican bra on, some meaty feathers, and, and bantu knot. knots. Like when you had all that together, yeah, it's just a cocktail <laughs> for like disaster, bro. Like recipe for disaster, sorry, bro. It just does. It just looked off. When I saw it, I was like, shouts out to you, waist snatch. I see you, boo. Like yeah, you lost the weight now. Shouts out to Skepta, he did his job in that. But like, yo, <laughs> what's going on with the get up? Mm. Like, what's happening? I mean, here, it was bruv? it was a little bit confusing, but at the same time, it's like. We see these things on a regular basis. Yeah, but on I, re- I don't think it has to be re- Okay, man, I don't know, because like I said, I'm if not If you were wearing a Nigerian flag bikini, what would you say? It'd be different. We don't have a carnival culture like that, innit? I think that's what it is. It's not like- Oh, was she at carnival? No, but she was she celebrating. She was, yeah, she was like, if she was, yeah, she, she was dedicated to Notting Hill. So it was like, okay. that's what the post is about. And yeah. so, and then when you put the get up on it, and then when I speak to certain people, they're like, when you really, really check it, it's only because like, Jamaica's probably the most prominent out of the islands. Mm-hmm. Carnival culture isn't even their thing. It's more small island thing. And that's not this. That's like, Ooh. it's actually mm-hmm. a more small island thing. Oh yeah, I mean like, if you know what carnival's about, you kind of, do you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, that just I showed did, like, I didn't the, know the kind it of was ignorance. A... Cause like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna put on like, you know, I'm just gonna drape myself in a Jamaican flag cause it's carnival. Yeah, no, nah, I, that's like, what it I, came I, I saw the picture mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I swear down, I was yeah. like, cool. Like, like uh, the thing is, yeah. Took your shit, H. <laughs> if popcorn jumped out from the back screaming <laughs> unruly in that, I would have lost it, bruv. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, but it just made, maybe it's just a bit tone deaf and it's just like, it's just another like example of like people not getting it. It's like, this is what, when I Google cultural appropriation, yeah, so the unacknowledged right. or inappropriate adoption of the customs, practices, ideas, etc., of one people or society by members of another and typically, typically more dominant people or society. Um, so it's like, when you see like the, the Kardashian Jenners with like braids and then they're getting credit for like a new wave mm. when with black women's hair is such a political thing. Like, So she's really clearly shouting out Carnival mm. and all the cultures that are within it. Yeah. How is that inappropriate? It's not like she goes, right, look up my new hairstyle guys and this country I invented. She yeah. didn't do that, bro. Mm. Like, I feel like sometimes you can see when stuff is being appropriated and it's for a, a level of gain. You know I, I mean? feel like she gets black because she's Adele and because she's from this is what I see this is what I saw people saying she's Adele she's from Tottenham she's from the end she gets it but no one even really fucking knows what her intention was but like we're no, speaking we so we, confidently we on her. don't know she could be a fucking scumbag like the rest of them no 100 percent she easily could and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that it's not that at all because yeah. it could easily be that but over everything it's like if you just look at the context of it the context kind of writes the the, the picture for you, you, do you know I what I mean? You. It's like, she's from London, yeah. where Carnival was held. Of course, she grew yeah. up in a, com- a community, yeah. or from a, a place where the community is prevalent. Like, yeah. it all just makes sense. But we've grown up a lot of people that are from our ends and like, are from other um, ethnicities, religions, etc. And they're fucking wolves in sheep's clothing. Like, they're even worse because they're close to us. I know, but- At least are... you get ignorance of like, you didn't grow up around us. Some of the people that grow up around us, they're even way worse, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm just yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to count yeah, out yeah. the conversation a little bit. Like. That can't just be the the, the, the defining reason, because then what people then happens is people get too comfortable, get cocky, you're out with your brother and he gets drunk and he calls you the N word. Now you got to snuff him. But he grew oh, he grew up around the man. Then it's cool. Nah, it's not cool, bro. Mm. Well, I'll say that. Everyone's say got this. different rules, though, innit? Because I know man that like don't. There's certain things that they just don't care about, innit? And I can't make you care, innit? Yeah. That just is what it is, you know. The album awaits, man. <laughs> Thirty, where you at, <laughs> 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 bro? 30, where you at? Divorce looming. Vans <laughs> <laughs> are trying to hear them sad nigga bars from her, boy. Fam. That nigga taking my money. I, I want I want, to see if your vocal cords still has the power now the weight is gone. Sure. <laughs> the resonance is gone, bro. Yeah. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> we want to see it, bro. Because bro, you're so well, you're way worse than me. Do you hear what you just said, bro? <laughs> He said, "Cause you got skinny, you got." <laughs> it's like you know, comedian. You know the fact, like Seth Rogen, all them man and um, Jonah Hill, they get skinny and that, and like hey, the comedy's man. a bit meaty. No <laughs> you got to put the weight back on. Yeah, fam, the rebrand, like, because yeah. I always say, like, um, for Rick Ross, for example, I love fat, unhealthy Ross. I want to see you no know, skinny, <laughs> flipping high top Ross. Yeah, no, healthy Ross makes me uncomfortable. Nah, unhealthy Ross was when he was in his bag. Yeah, he was, he was, he was doing bits. He was trying to moonwalk and down. <laughs> That's what bro, you mad? He's got the best moonwalk ever. Are you crazy, bro? <laughs> no, I watch him. If he moonwalks like Rick Ross was moonwalking on bricks, <laughs> cocaine, bro. <laughs> bro. In, them, in them Reeboks, <laughs> 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 that Ross fit. <laughs> Fam. Right, when you're last in life, you can just get away with murder, bro. I remember seeing Fam, DJ Khaled like, on Snapchat. He had like a deal with Weight Watchers. Khaled was putting on <laughs> weight and still had a deal with Weight Watchers, bro. Yeah, it's called Weight Watchers, bro, not losers. It's different, cuz. Fair. Watch your weight, bro. <laughs> what, don't, don't, He's watch like, look me, don't watch you watch the weight. Fam, <laughs> listen, man, brands will put pump money like into you uh, if you just say this. Yeah. Like, if you have that if you have the people in it, like they just yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, you know, we we kind of like have um every type of moment, our favorite moment from an artist throughout their career. Ross for me, like unhealthy Ross, great. We want to hear depressed Mary J. Blige, not happy Mary J. Blige. We're so like, do you know what I'm bro. saying? Like we, <laughs> like mm. you've given us like gems, yeah, in this moment of your life, yeah. For you personally, it, it may might have not been be a shit great. time, <laughs> 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 but it made you produce your great stuff in it. Nothing be worse than that Keisha Cole, the era of her, like on reality TV, with her mum on crack, like leaving rehab, her sister, everything's fucked up. Keisha was making the bank between that period. Now she's all married and that got a young thing. I ain't trying to hear your shit right now, bro. Fam. <laughs> Bring us the old Keisha. In fact, my man, dump her, break her heart so we can get some bangers. <laughs> yeah, so, I want to so hear bro. I wanna hear those heartfelt bangers because, yeah. bruv, a lot of us deal with fucking sadness and sorrow, bruv. <laughs> like, and we can't more so than happiness. Mm. We ain't got no outlet. <laughs> bro, we're 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 that higher pod. register. <laughs> Fam. Like on his pod through the pain, bro. That's it. it exactly that. Yeah. So, yeah, man, Adele, she's gonna come back with, um, you know, there's a lot of people that are just waiting for Adele to drop. You saying track eight featuring Skepta? <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. The direction that she takes, <laughs> that'll be fine, bro. She can breathe. She on might the track, have lost bro. it though. Don't say that. No, she might have. It's, it happens, bro. Because I would assume she would have dropped. Oh, There's a random point. guy out there, yeah, mm. that you just don't know. He's like one of her main co-writers mm. that is just probably in the lab writing the meanest ballad over the past couple of years <laughs> and just waiting for it to drop. Yeah, That's man. another payday for him, bro. Yeah, man's waiting to even eat, know bro. it. Mm. Yeah, writers eating out here. Like, people like, who writes over here and does a lot of stuff? Man, what's my man? That's the stuff with Dave. Um, um, Fraser T. Smith. Yeah. They're the people that are really eating on this thing, bro. Tracy T. Smith's killing my people, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, d- listen, don't pass me the burner, bro. <laughs> right now, you're, bro, you're just finger fucking an ego and he's got his, his fingerprints all over the burner and that, bro. That's if they lick you now, right, bro. <laughs> free hands. <laughs> free the last couple of weeks, people say to me, like, bro, like, he's really on fire. I say, yeah, that's my, that's my man, bro. <laughs> he's doing his thing. Hey.